Okay, so we the sculpting process is that we we are 200 kilometers away from where we get the stones, the ones we make the sculpture out of. So and then they actually found along the Great Dyke uh, area of Zimbabwe. This is where the stones come from. It's 200 kilometers from Harare, and then so we hire trucks, lorries to go to fetch the stones from the mine. Bring them here at the studio, and then we start uh, the making process of the sculptures. So the way we make the sculptures is that some, when we go to get the stones, we choose the type of uh, stone according to what I feel, how I, I, I express myself on the stone. So, for example, myself, I do abstract art. It's a fusion of Shona art and. and modern art so which brings images which are more abstract and, and some creative but in an abstract form so there are stages when we sculpt the first stage is to uh, chip the stone remove the unwanted uh, parts and then after that we use uh, a chisel to smoothen the surface and in some files after the files we use uh, same papers we send the stone from the course which is 100 to the finest which is 1000 or 200 2000 grits same paper so that one at that stage the stone will be already shiny and then we, we, we hit the stone we hit the stone so that we apply wax and then the wax can penetrate into the stone so that's why we hit it first we use a, a blow torch or gas torch, then we polish the, the stone. The shine stays forever, but from time to time you have to repolish them and yeah, because mainly our sculptures they are made for decorating purposes. You can decorate the offices, spaces, outside, outdoors. So like uh, some of the huge sculptures. We also do uh, sculptures on consignment and we also do um, portraits. People can bring pictures or in any image and then we take it into stone. So that's how uh, the sculpting process is done. So it's merely uh, things around the shapes of the stone which inspire the artist to make some, something.